as the federal member for this area, it is a real, it's an honour uh, and a privilege to be invited here by the committee and to um, share the speaking role with people like Herman and Sharon and Robin, um, because the more that I learn about the history of Melbourne, Australia in general, but Victoria in particular, um, the more that one unavoidable fact I think keeps reasserting itself, and that is that no matter how long ago it was, um, the formation of this state and of this country and of our government was accompanied by violence and was accompanied by dispossession and was accompanied by killing. And we as a people here in this country are not going to move forward, if I can borrow that phrase from another politician, um, in any real sense until we acknowledge that and acknowledge some pretty fundamental truths that sovereignty was never ceded and that there has been killing and murder that took place here right on the places that we stand. And one of the things that, uh, uh, one of the reasons that I think that we need to make sure that that's remembered and commemorated continuously is that we see the results of it every day. And we see the perpetuation of it every day. And I know that this is, uh, event is particularly to uh, commemorate Mobile Hena and Tunnum Inouye. But um, just briefly, in the Northern Territory at the moment, we have, of course, an intervention that's continuing and it's proceeding on exactly the same principles, that consent isn't needed and that some people have got more rights than others. And also in the Northern Territory, just outside of a place called Muckety Station, um, Australia's first nuclear waste dump is uh, on the verge of, or it's taken one step closer um, to, be, to being built. Uh, outside of Muckety Station, it's recognised um, that there are five groups, five nations that have overlapping ownership claims. Um, one or two of them have said, well, we are happy for a certain amount of money for a nuclear waste dump to be built here. And the other three are saying, no way, we do not want a nuclear waste dump here. And uh, the government uh, the legislation to enable this to happen has been introduced in Parliament, sent it off to a committee for an inquiry. Um, it's the first bill that I ever sent off to a committee for an inquiry. The committee refused to have any public hearings, refused to go and meet with the representatives of the traditional owners for these three groups, in particular the Napa group. Um, and in fact, we had the Minister, Minister Ferguson, who is in the electorate, just one up, go on record and admit that he hasn't met representatives from those groups and has no intention of doing so. <laughs> and so we have this appalling situation where, and the legislation will come back before Parliament um, in the new year, or later, later in about a month or so's time, um, and we are going to be fighting it as hard as we can because it is built on the same, it is based on the same principles that the Northern Territory intervention is based on and the same principles that these freedom fighters fought for, and that is that if we are to have any justice in this country, consent needs to be meaningful, and it needs to be based on a treaty. And one thing I learned, and I'm always learning about this, and one thing I learned from Robbie Thorpe is that we're the only Commonwealth country without a treaty. And I think until we have that basic recognition, we are gonna go nowhere and the injustices will continue in this country. And I think that, um, one thing that will serve as a continual reminder of the circumstances in which this nation was founded. And the need for that real agreement is a commemorative statue here. And um, I didn't know about these two freedom fighters until I met Joe during the course of the Lord Merrill campaign. Uh, and I think even during that campaign when of course Robert Doyle ran, um, I think even he agreed that a statue would be a good idea. I don't know how that's going so far, but I hope that we will uh, we will get there. And I want to just end by um, bringing us back to where Sharon began and thanking Joe and the committee for the work that they are doing. And uh, let me just say this, organising around one event like this um, per year 
uh, is a fantastic thing to be doing and you are doing as much as anyone, if not more, to keep the issue of real justice alive here in Melbourne and so it's my pleasure and my privilege to be invited here and to lend you support. Thank you very much.